You're my son. I know exactly who you are, and don't you ever be sorry for it. Not can I have ice cream? Yeah. One more bite. <sighs> there you go. Wait a minute. You feed your horse? You think it's fair that you have your dessert before he has his supper? I'll be right back. You hurry up then, OK? You don't want that ice cream to melt, do you? Mm-mm. Have a seat. I fight standing. This isn't a fight. The fuck it's not. Come on, let me have it. If you were one of my sons. You'd what? Brand me? Fight me, huh? Don't treat me any different. You want a brawl, it's brawl. You done? Or you need a little more time to psych yourself into being right? Or are you just throwing a tantrum for no reason? Because if this wants to be a contest about who can lose their composure the most, I will put this table through the fucking wall! Or you and I can sit down and have a conversation like adults. And what lie is that, son? That. That's the lie. You called me son, and you made me call you father. Sit down. You don't get to tell me what to do anymore. Then get the fuck out of my house. You can sit in my living room, or you can leave it. Those are your options. Can I try some? No, it'll stunt your growth. What does that mean? It means it'll make you short. I'm already short. <laughs> yeah, well. Not as short as it'd be if you drink coffee. Son, if I spent a week thinking of ways to fuck up my day, I could not have come up with this. Hey, it's all right. It's a big deal taking a life. But everything on this earth has to do it to survive. Even trees. The big ones kill all the smaller stuff beneath it. Killing's the one thing that everything on this planet does to survive, Tate. It's the one thing we all share. Now you share it, too. Will something kill us, too, Grandpa? Yeah, something will kill us too, Tate. Might be a bacteria so small you need a microscope to see it. Might be a big old bear. There's no such thing as dying of old age. Something kills us all. Can you have my hand, Daddy? Do you love him? Makes you happy? Since the moment I met him. Well, happy's all I've ever wanted for you, sweetheart. You, you give him your hand if he gives you that. They're cutting loose. Had one hell of a day. Now it sounds like they're gonna have one hell of a night. It's a good thing you did today. You broke a rule. It shouldn't have been a rule in the first place. You did it for the right reasons. Thanks. Hell, should we join them? I can't. I never had much luck leading men and being their friend. Maybe it could be different for you. 
Good night, son. I'm feeling a little sentimental, grandson. I'd like to see that little elk live. What do you say we tip the scales in his favor? Stay right behind me, okay? If we get too close, it'll make a run for its mama, and then we've screwed the whole deal. How are we going to help it? We're going to mark a little territory, grandson. Get to it. Just in one spot? Everywhere you can. Let her rip. Whoa, hey. Don't mark me. <clears throat> Stayed up. Uh, yeah. What's he doing? Irrigating, he's fine. My rules, we fight with dignity, you aren't. You start or find another fight. What does that mean? I'm saying no more collateral damage, you understand me? We don't kill sheep, we kill wolves. What you did was cruel, honey. Because you fucked her, it's cruel? Did you do it because I fucked her? Because that is cruel. Goddamn, Beth, I never thought I'd feel this way about you before. But you've really disappointed me, honey. And I never thought I'd say that about you. I'm, uh, sorry about the commission. It's just not me. You're my son. I know exactly who you are, and don't you ever be sorry for it. That's not the glow of a blushing bride. Oh, Dad. The blush was fucked out of me years ago. Jesus. <laughs> Baby, I love our man-to-man -man talks, but we need to set some goddamn boundaries here. I can't unhear that, honey. Well, it was a metaphor. Sort of. I have nightmares. You want to talk about it? Well, I'm in that room. The floor just disappears. And I fall, keep falling. I scream. No sound comes out. No one hears me. So no one comes to help me. are. It's your memories and your imagination all mixed together and into this soup of what's real, what's made up. But the thing about this soup is you can change the ingredients, Tate. You can put in whatever you want to. Any memory, any fantasy. You can you can be a baseball star who opens Christmas presents all day long. Mm -hmm. So when you close your eyes later, you decide what you're gonna dream. That'll be the dream. I'm sorry, Beth. Sorry for what? That you thought you couldn't come to me. That you thought I'd be ashamed or you'd be in trouble for it or whatever you thought. I'm the one safe person in this world that you can turn to, Beth, for anything. And it breaks my heart I didn't make you know that. I know it now. And now is all that matters. 
That's life. In case you haven't noticed, it is cruel and uncaring. You can't reason with evil, son. Evil wants what it wants and won't stop until it's won or you kill it. And to kill it is to be meaner than evil. It's going to be a last lesson, son, how to be meaner than evil and still love your family and still enjoy a sunrise. <laughs>